Good day, beautiful soul. Steph Robertson here. Thank you so much for tuning in and sharing your energy in this space. I do appreciate you being here. If you do like my content, you can follow me on Instagram or please hit like and subscribe on YouTube. We are here today doing the daily chakra card of the day uh, pick and reading. Today is September 25th. However, this is a timeless reading. So anytime you catch it, if it resonates with you, you can accept the energy at that time. If this does not resonate with you, it just means it's not meant for you and that's okay. So I'm doing uh, the time of day that I'm doing the chakra card pick today is different. So usually I do this in the morning when I get up, but I've decided to start doing this um, at night. I find that I reach more people when I post and do videos at night. So I'm going to try this and see how it goes. Okay, so we're going to cleanse the cards with um, the uh, pink Himalayan salt today. Lord God, Creator, Mother Earth, Guy, Universe, Spirit, Healing Team, please bless these cards with truth, honesty, and clarity. So what I would say is, because it's the chakra card of the day, first of all, it is a timeless reading, as I just said. However, um, you can also kind of look at it as um, you may catch this reading at the end of the day and look back at your day and see um, how the card that comes out uh, reflects on the day that's passed. Or you may find that um, the following day you actually... Um, you know, have some things happen that relate to the chakra card that's been picked. So another thing you could be doing then is uh, before you're going to bed, if you look at this reading, um, just as you're getting into that sleepy phase, um, you know, if there's an affirmation based on the chakra card that comes up, you could say that. Uh, if it's, um, you know, just a chakra specifically, uh, that it's related to, you know, you could just be asking um, that spirit, uh, make sure that that chakra is opened, aligned, balanced, uh, those types of things, okay, before you go to sleep and see if you actually have anything, you know, dreams or when you wake up in the morning, morning any kind of um, epiphanies or any ideas that come into your, your mind um, related to that because it's very interesting how things like that can definitely happen. Um, so you can see today I do have a, this little picture with a feather on it. I was feeling uh, pretty galactic today. So you can see I do have my little, um, this is a little sticker, a little alien. Um, this little tapestry that I have down today, you can't fully see the whole thing here. Obviously, I'm going to just pull it up there. But it is uh, the moon tapestry. So I'm definitely feeling a lot of moon energy these days. Uh, we do have um, eclipses coming up. So I always know when we have eclipse moons and eclipses and things like that, uh, new moons, full moons, I definitely feel that energy very, very strongly. Um, and I just, I have this feeling that um, these eclipse moons are going to be very powerful. Um, so very powerful for manifesting too. Uh, the other thing I liked about this moon um, tapestry is it has two I don't know if these are wolves or dogs here but one here and one here so we're into Libra season Libra is all about balance um, so I had the um, idea to actually do some readings over the month of uh, or Libra season and basically the month of October the, the end of September also from this deck here I'm going to be picking some cards so this is called wisdom of the hidden realms um, so this card the cards when you pick them out of this deck it talks to you about how each card works as a challenger and an ally for you. So kind of that balance. All right. But today we are, as I said, doing our chakra card of the day pick. Creator, universe, Mother Earth Gaia, spirit healing team, angels and guides. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you so for your uh, ongoing love, support, guidance, direction. Okay. That's a bunch. So... We don't want that many. <laughs> if we could have a card for the collective. So this is for the collective also, not any particular sign. All right. Okay, so let's see what chakra we get. Okay, solar plexus. So we're still getting solar plexus. I think the last time I did this, I haven't done it for a couple of days, we got two solar plexus cards. So this card is card angel number 35. So you can see 35 there in the corner. So you can look up angel number 35. Um, our solar plexus chakra is yellow and it's right in this area of our body, right above our belly button. Okay. So this card says the solar plexus. 
manicura. This is the third eye, or sorry, not the third eye. This is the third chakra in your body system. It is associated with empowerment of or weakness of the ego. So again, a balance um, of ha having a balance between that empowerment and weakness. This chakra has an influence on your preoccupations about your self-image and social status. This chakra brings solar light encoded energies into your body, activating the nerves that radiate into the pit of your stomach. Okay, awesome. Okay. So perhaps that is why I was feeling some galactic energy today, because um, it does talk about um, solar light encoded energies coming into your body. So you can um, comment down below that you do accept um, those energies into your, your field, into your body, if you wish to do so, okay? Or just say that, you can write it down in a journal. Uh, but an awesome card for sure. Um, yeah, so you can look up angel number 35. Then again, it talks about how I said, you know, it's above your belly button. So our solar plexus chakra does uh, affect our stomachs, uh, that kind of area of our body. If you wanna nourish your solar plexus, which is yellow, you wanna eat uh, nutritious, uh, healthy yellow foods, uh, so you know, banana, bananas, yellow peppers, uh, squash, beans, uh, anything that you know is yellow. So, let, there's lots of different lentils too, legumes, and things like that that are yellow, um, and lots of different nutritious uh, drinks. Yellow, you can also drink just uh, water with lemon in it, which is very, very good for our body, putting our body in an alkaline state, which keeps us healthy. Uh, prevents things like cancer from developing, those sorts of things. So thank you so much for tuning in for this reading today. I do appreciate you being here. I will be back again soon. I'm sending you all lots of love and light and so much healing energy. Namaste.